This video is about data storage, which is the amount of data a device can hold. Storage units, which is where to measure the amount of data that can be hold. So what are the units? You've probably heard of like things like kilo and giga. Those are units. And file sizes. Again, if you have a Word document, it will run about 40 kilobytes. If, if it's full, uh, a song will be bigger. A movie would be bigger still. So there are different file sizes. Let's pretend for a minute you went into a phone shop with £40. You wanted to buy a second-hand phone. And the man pulls out a couple of second-hand phones. And you ask him, what's the difference? He says, well, not much. He said, this one's got 128 kilobytes of data storage. And this one's only got 16 gigabytes of data storage. And if you don't know about these things, you'll say, oh, okay, I'll just buy this one. Sounds like it's more, 128. You walk outside, you take a selfie, and then it comes up on the screen, uh, data full or storage full. And then you think, well, that's annoying. So it pays to have some education about data storage and storage units so they don't get ripped off if you ever buy a mobile phone. So let's drop these in. Let's start with gigabytes. Because most people have heard this term. And I think probably around the average size um, of data storage in average mobile phone would be about 64 gigabytes. If you've ever downloaded a song from the internet, your average song probably runs at about three or four minutes, and maybe that'll be about three megabytes. And then below that still is what we were just introduced, the kilobytes. And let's say your average Word document, a page of text of homework or, or work would be about I don't know, 40 kilobytes. And then we go smaller than that, actually. Below kilobytes, it's just a single byte. Below that is something called a nibble. And then below that is something called a bit. Okay, so now a bit is the smallest value or the smallest data unit, which is just either a single one or a single zero. So a bit is a one or a zero. That's it. Smallest amount of information. If we have four bits together, one, 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 or it can be one, oh, one, oh, it doesn't matter. If we have four bits together, we call that a nibble. If we have eight bits together, one, 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 I'm going to go with O one 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 doesn't matter, but it's eight units there. We call that a byte. So a bit is just a one on its own or a zero on its own. A nibble is four bits, and a byte is eight bits. Now we're bringing this magic number, which is one o two four. So a kilobyte is a hundred uh, ten one thousand twenty four bytes. Okay. So notice we're not in bits anymore. Everything up here going higher is bytes. A megabyte is 1024 times 1024 bytes. A gigabyte is 1024. Well, to make it simpler, I think you can probably see a pattern here. To make it simpler, I'm going to go with not 1024 to the power of 1 or 1024 to the power of 2. I'm just going to go 1024 to the power of 3 bytes. Above that, which is the storage size of a lot of computers and laptops, is something called the terabyte, which we can now mathematically create, uh, set it as 1024 to the power of 4 bytes. And I'm going to throw Petra in here, the petrabyte which we can mathematically, mathematically derive as 1024 to the power of 5. Petra, that's probably NASA, that's P-E-T-R-A. So the scale goes bit, nibble, byte, kilo, mega, giga, tera, Petra. And it's just something we need to commit to memory so we don't get ripped off by uh, the phone shop person. I'm going to throw in here, maybe a laptop will have one terabyte and NASA 
I looked it up, they've got about 247 petabytes of information. So in order, a single one or a zero on its own is called a bit. Four bits on its own is called a nibble. Eight bits, that's called a byte. 1024 bytes is called a kilobyte. A megabyte is 1024 bytes squared. 1024 bytes cubed is called a gigabyte. A terabyte is 1024 bytes to the power of four. And a petabyte is 1024 to the power of five. So first question, what's bigger, a bit or a nibble? The answer is nibble. What's bigger, a petabyte or a gigabyte? The answer is petabyte. How many bits in a byte? The answer is eight. How many bytes in a kilobyte? And the answer is 1024.